Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, what we've decided to do today, after we changed rooms, which you probably saw earlier, uh, we decided to come back to old Nessie Bar. So we're gonna show you a little bit of that. We've just stopped off and had a fantastic meal. There is a little bit of footage of the meal, but the restaurant was quite busy at the time, so I didn't want to disturb other people eating. I had shark and chips and it was so so moist I won't tell you too much because that'll be previous but just look at this we got peppers chili peppers growing and they use them in the restaurant <laughs> oh isn't he or she gorgeous isn't she gorgeous there we go I know now so this place was called Kipsos Kiparis. Kiparis. I was close. Kiparis. We don't really have wild animals in the UK, unfortunately. But they're everywhere here and they were in Morocco. So if you haven't checked out the Morocco videos, please do. But if you are here at any point, please come and try out Kiparis. There we go. You can see the sign behind me. Food, superb. Prices, excellent. Surroundings, there you go. Surroundings are simply stunning. We were sat overlooking the sea, blue sky, beautiful clear blue waters, and a really, really nice afternoon. Sarah's busy chatting to our Ukrainian friend from Kiev, who we will be going and visit at some point. So we've talked about maybe when we go to Kiev, that we will travel to Chernobyl as well and check that out. That would be amazing. Yeah. Really, really interesting. Obviously the history with it as well. Women just talking, chatting. Oh, so I'm just gonna show you a little bit of, of Nessie Bar. We didn't get to see this on the other one because we were on the outside. Um, as you remember, it's part, it used to be a, a fort and it was protecting the mainland of Nessie Bar and sunny beach as well but just look at these cobbled streets isn't it amazing you just got to be a little bit careful not have too much to drink because i'm um, keeping your balance on them might be difficult wow they're, they're busy chatting i'm gonna have to go back up here alina just asked if you're always so energetic and i said you've got to be on the go you have to be a bridge you have to do it Very British indeed. And on Old Nessie Bar, there's a good seven or eight churches and also remains of churches. What you can see behind me is Saint Sophia. Now this was built at the end of the fifth century, beginning of the sixth century. And it played, basically this is where the Bishop of Nessie Bar lived as well. So this was actually his home, but just look at the condition of these remains. So don't forget, this has been up since the end of the fifth century. Some of it has been replaced, you can see, you can tell that, but generally, it is completely the original stone. And you can, you can imagine, can't you, the, the people gathering here to worship and to pray. Wow. And for protection as well, because it appears that this part of Bulgaria was under attack a lot throughout those, well, throughout history. There's always been some kind of conflict, um, which is obviously a great shame. But just look at this place, isn't it amazing? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Where are we going? I'm going to take you up here. So I just want to take you around so you can get a general feel and see... What I'm seeing, look at these fallen pillars. Ah, uh, thanks. Wonderful architecture. Look at the arches there. And around it, obviously now, you've got your restaurants, your little souvenir shops, things for, for the tourists and for the villagers to make their money as well. But isn't it amazing? 
wonderful piece of architecture you can see some modern stuff in there as well obviously it's to keep the main structure of the building up as well so we're just having a quick walk around it all but it's beautiful wow stunning stunning that's a lot of years old isn't it but of course it still looks fantastic oh it's places like this that make travel not just worthwhile but it makes you want to just do it constantly and explore we all need to stop dreaming and start doing the stuff that we used to dream or we still dream about we're not here very long so we need to get out there and make the most of this wonderful world and see wonderful pieces of architecture like this wonderful history okay guys so it's a little tour of churches by the looks of things this one is called saint parascava church and it was built in the 13th century and it was used right the way up to the end of last century and if you look all the walls are decorated with ceramic tiles a lot of them are broken now obviously because of the age of the building itself but again another little gem that, that they've come up with here in Nessie Bar simply beautiful it looks like they've turned it into a little museum now as well which is fantastic you know you make the best and the most of an old building or an old church so yep this one went up in the 13th century so there's just a quick guide around that one just so you can see what it's like and again surrounded by all these lovely little souvenir shops so the church that we just checked out is just there right behind me and here we have another beautiful church wow again built around the same time that's the 13th century and this church is the church of archangels michael and gabriel wow oh we can take a little look inside can you see through there there we go i'm just going to pass that through just a, a quick look round. there you go so yes this is old town Nessie Bar, and literally the churches were right right next to each other unbelievable and again as you can see up in the roof there and in the walls the ceramic tiling as well that they used to decorate these amazing churches wow put together stone by stone guts and sweat required and just on this picture here you can see what it used to look like back in its full glory many many moons ago so yep that is the church of archangels michael and gabriel <laughs> literally a two minute walk i'm, I'm not going to speak too loud because there are people around i don't want to disturb them but literally two seconds away from those other churches we found another one and just look at this gold cross unbelievable isn't that stunning wow unfortunately it's roped off so we can't go in any further just look at this place oh, it's awesome isn't it wonderful oh wow this is nice this is nice what a beautiful church wow just a shame we can't go inside and film really but there you go wow beautiful beautiful i can't get over this gold cross here so <laughs> look at that and it's glistening in the sun as well glistening in the sun that is very special indeed very special well, I hope you get excited like I do. <laughs> Hear the bells. Oh. <laughs> That's my bedtime bells. Good night.
So we're still wandering the streets of Old Town Nesbar and it really is simply stunning. I love all these little cobbled streets. They're everywhere and actually the island's bigger than what I originally thought in the first place. It, there's just little alleyways and little roads here, there and everywhere. It, <laughs> I think it would be quite easy to get lost. I know it's got the main street running through the centre of it but there are so many little alleyways and tiny little roads as you can see spread all around and also most of the restaurants are on the top outside of the island so nearly every single restaurant that we've come across is overlooking this beautiful blue sea you know wherever you look wherever you look especially on the outside all you see is lovely little restaurants overlooking these beautiful blue waters here in Old Town Messy Bar. And like I said before, you know, if you're staying in somewhere like Sunny Beach or just outside, then it's only a pound, one English pound for about a 40 to 50 minute bus drive so what two quid for almost a two hour journey on a bus an absolute bargain look at that little old cart there you've just got to watch where you stand you know in england this would be illegal walking on all these paved stones they just tarmac it all there's another sea fish food restaurant there they're absolutely everywhere and what better surroundings can you get look at these places they're simply stunning gorgeous gorgeous and the food is fantastic as i told you earlier um especially with the shark and chips and things like that what was it sarah had oh yeah sarah had um sort of a barbecue on a stick chicken barbecue very very nice indeed and our friend that is with us today that you've already seen and met once before um she had seashells not the shells themselves but obviously the little creatures that live in the sea this is sort of the main center so there's lots of different shops it's down the alleyways that are better for me though i prefer the little alleyways because you get all the handcrafted gifts and things like that it's not so touristy but i think this island is probably only about a mile a mile long from one end or from one side to the other but it has got some modern shops as well i'm going to walk down this way and see if i can find them hey <laughs> that wasn't a bad guess was it look who i found look who i found so we're still here in nessie bar and just to the side of me there i will pop the camera over the top so you can see if i climb up on these you can see down there which looks just like well you can't tell that they're remains these are roman remains that were discovered and they date back as early as the fifth and sixth century now unfortunately there's only a few remains there because the rest of the remains are actually underneath the building and this area here used to have baths and pools for the Romans unbelievable but unless they knock down all these houses which are extremely old in the first place themselves they're not going to be able to get to the rest of the Roman remains but doesn't it look pretty spectacular you've just got to use your imagination now and these these Roman buildings they only stood around three meters high oh i've got a bit of a bit of wind down here they only stood about three meters high and look how narrow if you can work it out look how narrow that door is down there so old town Nessie bar really does have tons to offer in way of history in way of culture in way of great food in way of great scenery you know <laughs> and you're surrounded by beautiful warm blue waters from the sea as well so guys i've just read something so a little bit of an update i'm going to take you around to the side 
of this building and guess what this building is yes you got it it is or was another church and in Nessie Bar an old town Nessie Bar tiny tiny area but guess what there's over 40 churches oh, just goes to show how important that their religion and their faith and the saints and God and Jesus was to them and, and, and still is obviously but you can see that directly behind me there another church what's that we've seen in the space of a few hundred yards 10 15 churches wow and it's got that castle style to it isn't it that, <laughs> that British or Scottish <laughs> whatever you like it's got that castle look to it look at that place look at it simply amazing guess what's behind me <laughs> yes you got it there's another church I nearly went then <laughs> I nearly went then wow everywhere you go remains of churches chapels monasteries I didn't I didn't realize how big Bulgaria was on its on its faith I really didn't it's not a country and I shouldn't judge because I've got no reason to and I don't but everywhere you go we've seen some magnificent buildings and places of worship wow I think this is the one that we might have got because just down there you can see the amphitheater as well the outdoor theater beautiful beautiful and just a few pictures here of what it used to look like back in the day again this one is called St John obviously after the saints again all their churches appear to be named after the saints who they communicate with to get through to God I think they see it as sort of a a telephone system so they would use the saints whichever representation it is that they needed to talk about the subject with God they would pick that particular saint and communicate with them in that way and what a wonderful way it is amazing blown away by this orthodox Bulgarian Christianity it also it appears that just in Nessie Bar itself that you've got a house maybe a restaurant and a church and then a house a restaurant and a church and so on and so on and so on you could have a place of worship and have a place of prayer <laughs> a different one in Nessie Bar every month every day of every month that's what I meant so every day of the month you could go to a different church and pray and worship unbelievable talk about being sport for choice with your faith and Christianity and that's the way it should be we need more churches in the UK Travel, talk.